Smile, it's your honeymoon. So, what causes double vision? Top of all the other symptoms. It's not a brain tumor. We would have seen it on the scans. My exam didn't offer anything conclusive. Let's do some winter shots. Wardrobe change. Thyroid eye disease in conjunction with grit. Thyroid level was normal. Check it out. Simpson traded this in exchange for me helping me out on some of my days off. Quite the display of initiative and leadership. But you're way too smart to fall for a blatant bribe like that. Or blatant flouncing of cleavage. Like those. What happened to not letting House get to you? You're like lemmings marching off the cliff of competitive humiliation. All I'm doing is my job. House has indicated that he considers me attractive. There's nothing wrong with me using my strengths to my advantage. With an argument like that, maybe you should just drop down to your knees and... I mean, unless that's not your strength. Oh, big hug, big man. It's cold out here. At the risk of derailing this very productive photo shoot and bickering session, what about myasthenia gravis? Extraocular muscle weakness leads to double vision. A tonic bladder leads to incontinence. Could have been triggered when his tea got really low. Oh, a little one. He'd be a good peak. Smooth. You let the rest of them compete, tear each other to pieces, and you swoop in with a save. Start the patient on IBIG and plasmapheresis. Can you handle that, please? I need a minute. We'll make it quick. We're doing Memphis. You think you want this, but it's a bad idea. I was gonna go Dollywood, but I'm not sure I could pull off that wig. Everybody was playing nice, and in your world, nice doesn't solve cases. But after what happened, little bonding is a good thing. We still have ideas, we still argue. Maybe it could work better if we appreciate each other. It was impressive. You said that whole thing without once moving your lips. The ones you're not moving. Oh, I get it. I won't play along with your stupid games, so I'm no longer a man. Clever. Actually, you won't play along with my stupid games because you're no longer a man. Still clever, though. Studies have shown that raising kids lowers testosterone levels in men. The more involved you are, the lower it gets. Right, having kids has neutered me. Or maybe it's helped me finally grow up. Uh, do you remember the last time she visited Basel? Uh, let me see, that would be August? No. No, July, because I remember it was right after our half anniversary, and I forgot to put a gift in her suitcase. And I had never heard the end of that one. Her specialty. I made oh. up this pun. Uh, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Honey, why do you do this to me? You know I'm watching my weight. Then maybe you stop eating cheese in front of open fridge in the middle of the night. <laughs> this is delicious. Thank you. So, everything looks good in here. I'm just gonna step out and get a corroborating interview from one of the neighbors. Neighbors? It's, it's middle of the day. I, I think everybody's at work. Yeah, then they're at work. I just got a form to check off, and you will be on your way to permanent status. Excuse me, sir. You have a minute? How can I help you? Do you know uh, Dr. and Mrs. House? Of course. They've been my neighbors uh, about two years now. A lovely couple. I see them almost every night. Uh, they seem always to be together. Great. Well, thanks for your help. Cheerio. Hey, 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 what are you doing? That's my door. Handing out menus for a new Chinese place. You're that guy that plays noisy video games with house on Saturday nights.
There's a simple explanation. Be at my office tomorrow at 10.